What's up, people? It's King Dove the Seventh, and I found some news recently about Destiny 2, specifically raids. Now, it's not too much news on what's actually going to be going down in the raids, but it's basically what you see in this article on 3MGLive.com, 3MG Media, written by King Dove Seventh. I wonder who could, that could be. But the news is when you can expect the first Destiny 2 raid. Now, I was looking through this article, right? Yeah, looking through the article, not like I wrote the article or anything. <clears throat> I was looking through this article, and I found out that, so, just like it reads right here. Just like in the first Destiny, the end game raids and events will not be available on release. The first raid, however, will unlock on September 13th, 10 a.m. PT or 1 p.m. Eastern. That's a week after the game actually launches. Now, this is to be expected because... First of all, the raids in Destiny are not a walk in the park. They're pretty dang hard. To give you guys an example, the first time I did a raid, to straight go through the raid, it took me 10 hours to actually finish the raid. Now, granted, the raids are meant for 10 pe or 10 people. Sorry, I don't know why I said that. The raids are meant for six people. And I was only doing it with a group of four. This is the first time I've ever completed a Destiny raid. It was probably the first time a raid was ever completed without the maximum amount of people. So yeah, I did the raid. It took me 10 hours to do the raid with four people for a six-man raid. Now, with other people, it took them maybe six hours, five hours with the maximum amount of six people. The reason why it takes so long is because, like I said before, it takes a while for you to actually realize what uh, what weapons you want to use to fight the bosses, how to uh, get past certain parts. Because the raids, there are multiple bosses for each raid, and there are different like weapons that you'll want to use for different bosses. And with the introduction of new mechanics and things like that, like a uh, special, specific ability... Uh, What's the word I'm looking for? Class specific abilities such as the uh, healing pool for warlocks and things like that. The weight rates are most likely going to be even more complex. So it makes sense for Bungie to give people a little bit of time to acclimate to the new game. Figure out which weapons they want to use for, uh, for bosses and things like that. While, because strikes and things like that will be uh, playable when the game first comes out. You just won't be able to play the raid. Now, here's some other new, uh, some new features that I found out in this article, right? So, look at this video with me. It's a look at the new map, uh, new map features in Destiny 2. So he pulls out his ghost, he goes into the map. Now, first of all, when you look at the map, it looks a little bit different. You see some, well, for the most part, it's still the gray map that we know and love from Destiny 1. But we see some new symbols. Like this shield with the sword going down. We have this thing over here. Don't know what this could be. We see some new symbols. And we have this thing over here. I don't know what this is. So. Let's look down at this thing called Milestone. You have Void Focus Restored. Return to the Traveler Shard and the EDZ to activate your subclass. I'm guessing that's where this is. This is where the Traveler Shard is. And I guess the Traveler has been broken into pieces. If you if you remember though, in Destiny 1, there was that one mission on the moon where the uh, Hive had the Shard of the Traveler. I don't remember exactly what they were doing, but I guess that there's a shard of a traveler on earth and we can use that to absorb some light and get our powers back there's also a symbol here called the red war complete mission unbroken and edz uh i'm trying to see if i can find this symbol on the map which i cannot i don't know what a lot of these other symbols are here this looks interesting like these symbols all over the place you have uh, the Crucible, complete two matches in quick play. You have strikes, complete two strikes. And you have uh, patrols, help K6 establish a patrol zone. So, a 
it looks like on the map we get all of our information in front of us we get to see exactly what we have to do just by looking at the map you have all the information right there rather than having to press start and go all the way through different parts of the menu to see everything that you needed to do or that you wanted to do the map before was pretty basic all you could see was pretty much different areas and uh, different missions on the map but now we get all of this information on the map right there in front of us there are also some new uh, some new features such as so we get to see where public events are on the map it tells us so destiny veteran before we had to use a website or an app called public event trackers to figure out a general idea of when public events will happen on a certain map now it tells us exactly when the public events will start and it tells us the potential rewards that we'll get for completing said event so Winding Cove European Dead Zone is where the public event will happen in 2 minutes and 14 seconds. Doesn't give us any any information on what the public event is, so sadly, there are no bits and pieces to see there. So we're going to keep going. So there's the EDZ token and I just it just popped into my mind that EDZ stands for European Dead Zone token um, you see some weapons here you see glimmer you got some glimmer for completing the strike and I'm wondering hopefully the glimmer cap is over 20,000 that's what I'm hoping or maybe it was 2,000 I don't remember what the old glimmer cap was but hopefully they raised the glimmer cap by a lot and fast travel now so when they fast travel in the game right it only fast travels to the uh to the shared uh the, the, the shared social area but i'm hoping that we can fast travel to where we see special events are happening because before what would end up happening happening when there was a, uh, a special event is You'd have somebody in your team, they say, hey, we got a special event in a rocket yard. I'd have to drive from all the way, wherever I was on my sparrow, I'd have to drive all the way to the rocket yard, which could end up being on the completely opposite end of the map, and I could potentially risk missing the, uh, missing the, uh, the special event. But now, hopefully, if I hear there's a special event in a certain area, I can just fast travel there and get to the special event and time so I can get my loot, my shards, and my EDZ token, whatever I need, you know. And I'm pretty sure this is all the information. Yeah, that's all the information that they give us in here. You got the uh, pre-order, preload available September 5th. I'm going to go to GameStop September 5th at 11 p.m. and get my copy early. Um, that's all the event... Uh, all the information that I have today let me know in the comment section what you think about the information please like and subscribe for the information that I provided to you guys skin up the seven signing off peace